Now I am going to discuss a very good poem. I have never taught this poem, so I have just seen this in the syllabus of MG University, and then I just thought of uh, reading it, and then I found it very very interesting. This particular poem is W. H. Auden's Refugee Blues. You know refugees, right? Refugees are people who don't belong to a particular country, but who have come there like refugees, who have come there to take a shelter. So those people, they will not be considered as the citizens. They are just refugees. They are just there. So always refugees find a lot of dejection. So which often makes it a theme in as a part of literature to have many writings based on refugees. So let me explain this poem. I'll read paragraph by paragraph and I'll explain. Say the city has 10 million souls. Some are living in mansions. Some are living in halls. Yet there is no place for us, my dear. Yet there is no place for us. The city has so many people. Around 10 million people. Some people are living in big mansions. Some people are living in small huts like small halls. But we don't have any place here, dear. They are allowed to live there. They are the citizens. We are not citizens. Yet there is no place for us, my dear. There is no place for us. Once we had a country and we thought it fair. We had a country once and we thought it fair. We thought, wow, it's great. We have a country. Look in the atlas and you will find it there. We could see our country in the atlas, in the map. And we could, see, we could point out and say, oh, here, here we live. This is the place where we live. We cannot get, go there now, my dear. We cannot go there now. We cannot go to our country, my dear. For various reasons, we cannot go there to our country. In the church, uh, in the village churchyard, there grows an old yew. Yew is a kind of a kind of uh, tree. Every spring, it blows blossoms anew. Every spring, it will have new flowers. Old passports can't do that, my dear. Old passports can can't do that. Old pass passports cannot renew so easily. Just like how these flowers are blossoming in that old yew tree. Old pa uh, passports cannot renew like that, dear. It is not easy to renew passport. The consul banged the table and said, If you have got no passport, you are officially dead. But we are still alive, my dear. We are still alive. The council. So I have gone to the council to uh, request them to give me a new passport. And then they said, they said, if you don't have passport, means you are dead. You don't exist. But dear, we exist. We exist. You and me, we exist. Went to a committee. They offered me a chair. They were so good. They offered me a chair. Asked me politely to return next year. They told me to return next year. But where shall we go today? It is the matter of now. How we will live one year? They are asking me to come next year. But what about now? But where shall we go today? Came to a public meeting. The speaker got up and said, if we let them in, they will steal our daily bread. He was talking of you and me, my dear. He was talking of you and me. So he thought of going to the protest people, the public meeting. And they said, if we make these people enter our meeting, then our share will be taken. So they are talking of you and me, my dear. Thought I heard the thunder rumbling in the sky. It was Hitler over Europe saying they must die. So I thought I heard a thunder. It was not thunder. It was the words of Hitler who said they must die. We were in his mind, my dear. We were in his mind. When, we were, when he was saying that, that they must die, it was we who were there in his mind, dear. We refugees. So a poodle in a jacket fastened with a pin. So a door opened and a cat let in. So I saw a dog which is fast and which is taken so much care of. There was a door open and the cat, even the animals are being taken so care of. But they were in German Jews, my dear. They were in German Jews. Those poodle, those dog and cat, they were not German Jews. We are German Jews. So we are taken, we are treated like that. Went down the harbor and stood upon the quay. Went to the harbor, like the where the ship and all will be there. And I stood by that place where we just stand near the banks of the river, the quay. So the fish swimming as if it were a free. Even the fish was so free. It was swim, swimming so happily. Only 10 feet away from my dear. Only 10 feet away. The fish was so happy. The fish was so free. Walked through a wood. Saw the birds in the tree. They had no politicians and sang at their ease. I went through the forest. 
and there were many trees and there were many birds and they were chirping and they were singing songs they were very much ease they were singing very happily they were in human race there they were not human they were not human dreamed i saw a building with a thousand floors i thought i saw a building with thousand floors a thousand windows and a thousand doors but not even one of that was ours dear not even one of them was ours not one of them was ours stood on a great plain in the falling snow i stood in a plain where there was the snow 10000 soldiers marched to and fro those i saw so many soldiers were marching to and fro looking for you and me dear looking for you and me they are looking for you and me to kill us looking for you and me my dear looking for you and me that is how it ends it shows the life of refugees how so much of fear so much of tension they have how insecure they are all these are the themes that are being mentioned in the poem i hope you understood it